Also, he's going to be speaking about finding hidden gems in temporary mail services. Uh, his name is Ben Berk Khan. Uh, he's a pen tester and red teamer previously, um, has worked in many things. Now, I will get him on the stage and uh, let him enjoy the presentation. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> So, uh, thank you everyone for coming to this session. I'm really excited to be here at DEF CON to everyone. So, in this session, I'm going to talk about uh, temporary mail services and how we can uh, find good gems in those services. And before that, I want to thank my teammate, Berat Gökberg Gisler, is one of the other idea father of this project. And uh, my name is Berk, and I'm a penetration tester and a red team enthusiast. And I'm currently working at Sekarma Limited as a security consultant. I'm also a member of Cobalt core team and a Sinecred team. And I'm a festival fan and a gym rat. So let's talk about the main topics of my presentation. Uh, temporary mail services, uh, also known as uh, disposal email services, are generally free email services that allow you to receive emails, um, that allow you to receive emails at a temporary address that self-destruct after a certain time elapses. While some temporary mail services are public and open for everyone's for shared use, and others offer their paid private services. So what are the pros uh, for the temporary mail services? So it's a short lifespan, it's automatically delayed email addresses and all associated messages after a set of time, and no long-term commitment is users don't have to sign up or uh, provide any personal information to use a temporary email address and anonymity as uh, they allow users to receive emails without revealing their uh, personal email addresses. And, uh, but it should be noted that uh, this, the mails are host on, hosted on the servers uh, on these services. So the mails you receive can be accessible from that server pro service providers and uh, we don't know if they are actually destroy the emails really or not. So this is up to them. And uh, cons uh, about spam avoidance. So um, according to the services, incoming mails are said to be safe because they pass through the spam filter of their own. But uh, this protection can be OK for newbies, but for the experienced hackers or the red teamers, it's not working well. And public accessibility. Uh, many temporary mail services uh, reveal inboxes to the public. This means that anyone can access all the emails that have been received received uh, by that inbox. Uh, while these features provide ease of access, it also poses significant privacy risks if sensitive information is sent to this address. And this title is going to be our main target in this presentation. So story about this presentation. Uh, just another day, I'm uh, just for a silly application. In a regular time, I tried to uh, get an email, and I used temporary mail. And uh, I noticed that someone had linked an account from a shopping website. And after uh, I reset this password from email, I realized that there's a money inside this uh, user. And uh, there's a live orders inside it. So I wondered it's if such things were common, and I realized that there are tons of similar situations. Then I, then I want to dig deep about the situation and start my research. So most uh, temporary mail services, the most popular ones, are uh, temper.email, tempmail plus, yopmail and dispositable. These are all the public, public info inboxes, and you can just access these inboxes. And what are these gems? So, uh, People use these emails, uh, temporary email services for a business emails, addition to that, as a Spotify, Netflix, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Amazon, AliExpress, Discord, AT&T, Grammarly, TikTok, OnlyFans, Bitcoin accounts, and even porn accounts, and lots of public informations, and patient records, and many, many more. They are using these services to get, this, uh, to get these services. And also, I noticed, noticed that the marketing emails from numerous Viagra sellers and dating apps, additionally, there were emails from pornographic sites. Also, in pornographic emails, the IP addresses 
from which a user logged in can be leaked. So I hope that the user who use temp mail services in their private love also use VPNs. And uh, you just uh, need to go one of these email email boxes and uh, just type a double a triple a or one to see what uh, mails coming there. So it's easy. In these days, people are people are lazy, so they just press A and press enter and just get the inbox and just uh, use these inboxes. And the example accounts for that is that there's, there's a Spotify account, a Steam account, and uh, for some specific uh, web applications, it's uh, about dancing application. And uh, this, this user is using a temporary mail server, so I can reset the password, enter the account, and there's a uh, different kind of informations in his account. Also, saved credit cards and studio informations and etc. And also, uh, Canoe Pay and Temu accounts. Also, as you can see, someone used Canoe Pays, and inside the mail, they inform the user about the cash card reserve account. And Temu is a shopping website. Also, uh, I found a Discord uh, Discord uh, account, but unfortunately. The user who used this template mail services is at a multi-factor authentication. I just try, try for the one account, but if you're lucky, you can find another one. Instagram addresses, so Instagram accounts, you can just reset the password, get into account. And uh, also at and prepaid card here, a Facebook accounts, Amazon Web Services. And this is interesting. So I found an hospital record in this temporary mail services. So uh, there's a uh, patient is, uh, who is living in the United States. And uh, you can see uh, there's a, what's, what's uh, their diseases and why uh, their, their applicant is rejected and which location they are going to, uh, which hospital they are going to, which date rejected that, and et cetera. You can see. This is all public, you can find in temporary mail services. Oh, there's a more, you can see the, the, in this mail, they, they add an attachment, an Excel, and I opened, and there's a lot of, lots of patient informations here, as you can see, a lot of uh, secret information in public, public uh, email service. And more, yeah, you can see. And also, I found a uh, Paxful. Uh, Paxful is a Bitcoin buying and selling application. Uh, but I'm suggesting you, if you want to hunt these accounts like this, be sure that don't take over the account in the beginning of the registration. Just note the email. For example, someone uh, registered for Amazon AWS. Just don't don't change the password immediately. Just wait, note, and. Uh, be sure about deleting the mail. So there's an option in the list mail deletion in the temp mail service. So delete the mail, not to email address, and wait uh, maybe one week and maybe one month, and then just reset the password, get the account, and you can see there's a, maybe a, a good gems inside this account, maybe money or maybe servers. But if you do in do this in a registration part, there's nothing inside. So just be patient for that account. And also, uh, I found an OnlyFans account here, premium. Yeah, I don't prefer to use, but you can find premium if you want. And then there's another one. And uh, someone just bought some something, and uh, there's an invoice in this mail services. And in that invoice, you can see uh, there's just a name and surname and address information here, location information. You can all find from here. And if you are a, a good skilled pen tester, uh, you can just uh, social engineering these people. So, uh, hey, Abdul. For example, this victim name is uh, Abdul. And you can say, hey, Abdul, these items, blah, 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 that you ordered will be sent to this address. We also know the address. Blah, 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 stuck in the custom. So you need to pay. And bam, pay, payment leak. And all this information is verified because we know that name, surname items, as you can see. So it's a good social engineering example. You can see there's an, 
example, social engineering uh, mail that uh, you can just include a payment link, maybe fake custom website. The cho choice is up to attacker and depends on the scenario. Alternatively, you can get other information with that type of attacks. This method is very effective because you have all the details about the order. It appears legitimate. And uh, this is one of the interesting mails that I found. Is a, uh, it says, nice to see you. I'm glad to meet you. I'm not married to the children. I'm seeking to to partner personally. Maybe you can find your perfect match in all oh, use these mail services. So <laughs> it's up to you. And also, still, there's a lot of accounts. So as you can see, there's uh, someone just uh, Sign up for the Dynaxi.com as, as a BTC address, I guess. And uh, you can see the IP information and new password, Facebook account still, and much of. There's a tons of accounts in there. You can just, you can get any, anything you want. Also, there's another uh, like invoice thing and from the right group, Financial Limited. And it's about positions between Euro, between a Canadian dollar, and as you can see, there's a previous ledger balance, something like 5K and available imagine it was 4K, I don't know. Maybe there's an inside money in this account, but I didn't uh, want to go in this account. Also Netflix account. And uh, I found an application that bit by, and uh, when I entered, it said you have nearly uh, 69 Bitcoin, uh, probably a fake but website, but good one. I will be very sorry if it's legit, by the way. And uh, PlayStation Plus accounts, maybe TikTok accounts. And also, I found an information mail about the Temi website. It's a shopping website that your order has been canceled due to payment. And I just wonder, and I reset the password and go into account. Uh, this is a reset password uh, section. And I get the OTP, just to set the password. And I found the man called James Konda. And there's a live order inside this account. So I said, order in it. And also saved credit card information and the address information, everything you need, just a live. And about the statistics, uh, in nearly the 18,000 uh, mail, uh, the most of the emails come from TikTok, Intelliverse, and Supercell. However, as you can see, there are many other applications not listed there as including them will require numerous slides. In summary, you can find all kind of accounts you want here. And uh, in these days, uh, every information is invaluable. So, and the software is used by blue teams and cyber intelligence units for gathering information has now become highly advanced. And for example, if your password has been leaked on any dark website or a public hacker forum, the websites just, uh, notify you uh, about your password as a leaked, please change your password. Even some websites are not waiting for a permission and change your password. Uh, they generate a random password, and after that, they say you, I change your password because your password is leaked. And uh, for, for my uh, presentation, I wrote a Python script that's uh, called Tempmail Spy. It's just continuous to reconing and monitoring Temple Mail services, and it can be used with the Telegram and Slack notification API. It's fully customizable config, and it has a, this has a different modes. Uh, this script can get all mails or just grab for a specific keywords. Uh, for now, it's only using two mail services because this two is the uh, the most popular ones: Yopmail and Tempmail. Plus, but I will add more in the future, also I will add proxy specification because some temp mail services has rate limiting issues. And you, as you can see, there's a customize option, so you just need to, uh, K, uh, you just need to set a keyword here, so what do you want to know? F for example, Facebook, or you want Amazon, or maybe you are hunting Bitcoin wallets, you just enter a Bitcoin, and my script is going to uh, monitoring continuously, and if there is a mail shows up, like Bitcoin, and you, you just grab the Bitcoin. They just notify you from Slack or Telegram immediately. There's a new email here you can, you can find. So these are the uh, notification sections. And uh, after the script is over, it saved you what, uh, that, uh, your, what uh, this, the mails save you as an output. Mail link, mail sender, which mail service 
uh, from which mail service it's get this get that mail and etc. And now uh, I have an enjoyable and uh, classified example uh, about my presentation. And uh, and why I when I uh, just a regular day I uh, I finish my script and I just run my script and my script just found an invoice invoice link and I go to invoice you can see here and in the invoice in the left bottom there's a PHP debugger uh, icon and after I click that icon I found a debugging page and I found some uh, important credentials inside that one and I found some endpoints and in the in the I do more recon about the website and I found then slash admin at point endpoint and when I go there also the, thanks to PHP debugger I found a credential and I and I go to admin panel and uh, so can you imagine that the, the some some guys just uses a temporary mail service for his admin panel so I just enter the credential and it's asked me OTP but no problem so this temporary mail so I got the OTP from the temporary mail and I entered and boom I got the admin patch. Only I looked the temporary mail service and I, I got some interesting websites admin page. Okay, and I recall more and I realized that nearly 95% uh, of the employees using tap mail services. That's very interesting. Everyone has a temporary mail, yeah. <laughs> and also this company has a client. And you know that also this client use temporary mail services so they assign their clients a temporary mails. Well, nice privacy. And I recall more, I found uh, uh, server information in, in there and I accessed the database uh, and get more information uh, from here. I found uh, uh, mail, username and password and API stuffs. And I, as you can see, there's a mail username and password here. And I just enter their mails live thanks to temporary mail services there's a lot of important uh, stuffs going on there for example there's an uh, Kenya expert export pronunciation and uh, branding agencies uh, classified informations I found here some employee names social security numbers etc government papers here I found I hope there's no FBI or something. <laughs> this is educational purpose only. <laughs> and uh, uh, I use uh, every uh, user's information, company use information and mail addresses. And I go to some client mails and there's an invoices, live invoices, money is there. And somehow I, I get a shell from that uh, educational uh, purpose company and uh, but uh, you need to know that the relevant vulnerability has been reported to company and uh, has been remediated and during this research no action were taken that would harm the company service and disrupt their operations and this is my shell I'm passing this quick a lot of websites in it and every website is a different databases as you can see this is live Different environments, a lot of information, database names, database passwords, also uh, JVT secrets, and uh, SSL uh, case, everything. More password, email name, more temporary mail servers, because everyone using temporary mail servers, and I, I find someone in database using an, another temporary mail service, and I go there, I get his account, and I get to different websites. I just, Go to another admin panel. I get. I go to different website because everyone uses temporary mail service. Yeah, and this one is also another website that I found from the database. And uh, more logging applications. This one is also different. More cracking caches. More informations here. There's also uh, email username and password in it. So more emails. More. Good stuff. 
payment leaks, there's a live payment link, payment transactions, API keys, PayPal, PayPal secrets, everything, everything, your credit card numbers. And I just get this uh, from just, just looking around the, the, some kind of temporary mail service called Yopmail, and I just found an invoice, and this comes to here. So it's very interesting. And more information, see, yeah, I'm passing this fast. More cracking, cr cracked hashes, and uh, more <laughs> temporary mail servers. And now I'm uh, in a conclusion in this research. I obtain uh, hundreds of personal accounts, shopping accounts with money inside, patient information, IP details, premium accounts, company information, company accounts, compromised accounts, compromised email accounts, credit card information, dozens of web applications, numerous databases containing live data, private and confidential API keys, passwords, a little government document, email correspondences, secret payment system APIs, company bank accounts and SMS sending APIs, customer accounts with money in them, and maybe more thing in this, but uh, I don't know, I, I just uh, report to them and I just finish finish the uh, shell part. Yeah. Everything is remediated. And there's a bonus part here. So uh, I, I think maybe uh, I'm looking for this, I'm hunting this uh, account. And maybe there's a more guy like me who hunting this service. So I, I think that maybe I can create a, a phishing email for them something like your Bitcoin, you can you look your Bitcoin, Bitcoin account here, and I just write a, a BBC script here. That's uh, an, in, inside an Excel, there's a macro in it. And when someone opens that macro and allows, uh, opens the Excel and allows the macro, it's just, this script is just uh, getting some environment, environmental informations to my server. And I have a domain called moobitcoin.com. I just get this domain for a research purpose. I'm saying that because I, I sign, uh, signed the domain, some, signed some papers uh, that I bought from this domain server because they, they banned me uh, in the first. And I said, hey, I'm just using this for research purpose. They, say, they sent me a paper and please sign. Okay, I sign. I'm not getting any wallet or credit card information from it. I'm just getting some, for example, host name, username, and uh, external IP, internal IP, and etc. And then uh, I create a phishing template. So these are the addresses, and as you know, these are the temporary mail addresses, the most used ones. Because, pe as I said, people are lazy, and they just press A or B. They just don't, don't write their names. They just, for example, I'm not writing my name. I just press A and look for the inbox. So I just put these ones, seven ones, and I create an example a email template here. For example, hi James, thank you for buying blah, 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 Bitcoin from here. Your final balance here, please. We, we change your password for security purpose because you buy a Bitcoin and you can find this uh, credentials inside Excel file. And I zip that Excel because uh, maybe there's a spam filter in here and uh, some spam filters just opens Excel and look uh, the documents inside it, I know that. And because of that, I just password the Excel and I write the PDF password to mail. Maybe, why not? As you can see, there's an account credentials.zip, there's an attachment. And I send it and it's just, it's del delivered. Uh, no, no spam, there's, this is not looks like a spam. And, uh, and also the other temporary mail service is accepted this mail, so there's, there's no spam. No filter is working for that, as, as I said in my, in my previous slides, no, no spam filter is working, so don't believe everything you see in this mail services, just, if there's a something free, just don't, don't click that one so, so fast, please. <laughs> and if someone uh, just open my Excel, it's, uh, this request comes to my server and I get an information about what is his username or host name, internal IP and external IP, et cetera. And this is my end of presentation. Thank you for listening to me.